Hello, this is Bahman and I'm going to teach you how to plot data in MATLAB. So let's go here and start our new script in the home menu, new script. So here I will first define my values and my, my variables. Let's say I, I'm going with x1 equals to from 0 to 7, just 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then I will say y1 is sine of x1. So I'm, I'm going to just uh, plot a sine curve. And just simply here, I will say plot x, x1 and y1. Now, uh, before this, you can just uh, add this line, figure one. So this will, this will create a, this figure one will create a figure and then plot x1, y1 will show the plot uh, in that figure. So if you run here, you click run here and it will ask you to save the code. Let's call this code plot one, save it here. And here our plot has shown here. So this is our plot. And these are and in the workspace, we have X1 and Y1 values and they are shown also here as well. So if you don't want them to be shown in command window, you can just like put uh, uh, semicolons here and that will uh, make them not sh sh be shown on the command window. So if I say CLC, it will clear the command. Now if I run this again, now this time, as you can see, you, you don't see those that, and this is our plot. So now, if I want to see each of the points uh, with marker here, I will just say after the x1 and y1 in the plot command, uh, comma, uh, quotation marks, and uh, O. If I just put O here, it will just like put circles in the points and it will not connect them. And if I just put O and the dash, so the O will be the marker type and the dash will be the line type. If I just uh, uh, again press F5 or run here this will be our uh, plot so again this is plot x1 y1 and with dash and O marker so now let's say I want a much smoother uh, view rather than this kind of rough looking sine curve so what I need is like to add much more much uh, more points here so we will have a smoother looking uh, plot so what I will do here I need let's say I want to have 100 points. I cannot uh, put them, I will, I will not put them um, manually. So what I will do is I will use lin space command. Lin space will linearly space uh, distance of values. Let's say I'm going, I want to plot between zero and two pi. So this, what this will do, this will create by default, uh, this will be two into pi. This will create by default 100 points uh, evenly spaced between 0 and 2 pi. And now let's say y2 equals to now sine. Now let's make this cosine. Cosine of x2. And now let's plot this. Plot. Sorry. Plot x2 and y2. Now if I run this. This is what you see. As you can see, again, like my, my data is shown here. Let me just get rid of this by by just adding semicolons. I don't want this to be very crowded. Okay, so now uh, this is my cosine uh, plot. And as you can see, my sine plot is now is not here. So it, it has been cleared out. So what the, what MATLAB does by default is it plots something. If you, if you use plot again, it will just like clear out the first plot and just uh, plot a new one. If you want to keep both of them together, you will use hold on um, after the plot or just uh, just after the figure. So it will just hold all of the plots together in this figure. So now you will see both of the plots. So this the, the red one is the first plot and this uh, yellowish one is the second plot, which is much smoother. And if in this plot, I want to see all the points with marker, I will use a different marker here. I will use the stars. Uh, mm -hmm. And this is how it will look. As you can see, we have 100 stars here for cosine of x. And if you, uh, and also I can change the color here. Let's say I want to have a red uh, color for this. I will just add it here. 
So as you can see, these are the data of in, in plot command. First, we just say which data is for X, which data is for Y, and then we'll say which uh, kind of uh, color and uh, line type and marker type we want. And finally, if you want to, as you can see, uh, we don't have any, we don't have any uh, labels or uh, on the axis. So let's say I want to add labels. Let's say X label, X label will be, this is how you change the labels. X label will be, for example, let's say we're, it, our X axis is time and Y label, let's say our axis is voltage. Again, whatever you, you write between the quotation marks will just like appear on the plot. Now, it's not, uh, okay, I'm not writing it correct here. All right, much better here. All right, so the error was because the label was not uh, spelled correctly. So now we have axes uh, labeled as well. And uh, that's all I want to show you today about how to plot data. Thank you.